can you explain sleep apnea to the uh, audience please? of course Haan. yes i think it's something that everyone should know about Haan. traditionally it was associated with obesity so obesity and a thick neck means that when you're sleeping your trachea which is your windpipe it gets compressed and you're not able to breathe properly but not enough that you're choking but just enough that your oxygen supply becomes less that's when you traditionally snore so sleep apnea is associated with snoring now throughout the night your oxygen levels go down and your brain activity suffers and over a period of time if you keep having these apnea episodes where you stop breathing your body suffers in multiple ways you get blood pressure you get hypertension so your blood pressure goes up you can have cardiac problems you can have anxiety you can have morning sleepiness because you haven't slept at night and over a period of time the chances of your heart attacks strokes all of these things go up and it's very important to check the only way you can check is by doing a sleep study so currently in my practice after my core test which is say a nerve conduction an mri sleep study is the third most common test that i prescribe very very important i actually i did a sleep study yeah ah myself you know why i found that out i have a mild sleep apnea right ha uh, the reason i found that out was i felt extremely tired in the morning yeah even after 7 hours 8 hours of quality sleep yeah and uh, that is what you of, thought was quality ha huh, correct what i thought was quality yes. sleep and i was like you know so i thought it initially was night shift maybe it was yeah. too much work that then i realized okay even on vacation yeah. uh this was happening so early daytime sleepiness yes is one of the most common symptom yes mm. yes Very like like you feeling tired even after you have slept after you have slept mm. so you go to sleep at 11 you wake up at 7 you think that you've slept well you're having breakfast and you're sleepy ah. you're in a meeting and you're sleepy ah. if it becomes worse sometimes you sleep while driving which is very dangerous so obstructive sleep apnea in a severe form can be life threatening in itself and in a milder form can cause other problems other problems yes i have a feeling that you know um, because of the sleep deprivation and all mm-hmm. things the sleep apnea kicks in yeah uh, in terms of you know most common condition yeah uh, that decreases the oxygen level in the body mm-hmm. that strains the heart as you said yeah and i i still believe that that might be the initiating factor for all the heart disease that we are seeing yeah because we don't give the respect to sleep as much as it deserves as it should i know absolutely and nowadays things are changing people are appreciative that sleep is important but i don't think they understand how much how much ha huh? yeah and how in how many different parts of our life sleep affects so even memory loss there are a lot of young people coming to me with memory loss and it's very subjective memory loss maybe on the tests they are okay but subjectively they feel that i'm not able to remember i'm not able to focus i keep forgetting small small things very likely that their sleep is affected absolutely yeah. so for me if i sleep properly you're saying that alzheimer's dementia will be gone down the chances reduce 